am Dr. Karla. I am consultant dermatologist from Margaon, Goa. Today, I will be sharing some information on both hair loss and hair care. So, um, our hair grows in a cycle of a growth phase, a resting phase, and a shedding phase. And majority of the hair are in a growing phase. Now, usually around 50 to 100 hair will fall per day. And if more than 100 hair are falling in a day, it means that you are having hair loss. So, um, one thing, one important thing to remember is that there are many causes of hair fall and hair fall is a symptom and not a diagnosis. So, it is important to get the cause of the hair fall evaluated and accordingly treat the cause. Some common causes of hair fall include iron deficiency, thyroid disorders including excess and deficiency of thyroid hormones, vitamin D deficiency, uh, protein uh, malnutrition and a lot of other causes uh, specifically relating to hair disorders such as female pattern hair loss, PCOS, um, including telogen effluvium which is precipitated by stress. So, there are many many causes of hair fall and the hair fall requires proper evaluation and treatment according to the cause of the hair fall. Uh, some important tips for hair care. First of all, the diet should be uh, adequate in proteins and iron because both these are very important for your hair growth. A uh, protein containing foods includes meats, um, vegetables, uh, nuts, fish, egg and uh, pulses, dals. So, these are important for hair growth because proteins are the building blocks of your hair. Iron is also a very important uh, nutrient required for hair growth and a very common cause of hair fall. So, iron containing foods include meats and uh, spinach, jaggery, amarnat, beetroot as well as um, pulses and nuts. So, these are important for uh, good hair growth. In addition, uh, proper care of the hair, so shampooing. Shampooing is to be done about two to three times per week depending on how oily your scalp gets and shampooing should always be followed by a conditioner. So, what the shampoo does is it will lift up your cuticles. It, is, it has anionic molecules which repel the cuticles, they open up the cuticles and wash out the dirt. And the conditioner application is very important after shampooing to replace those cuticles back into place. So, if you just use a shampoo without a conditioner, you may experience dryness of your hair, brittleness of the hair and the cuticles will get damaged. So, it is important to use conditioner after shampooing your hair. Uh, next, next uh, coming to combing the hair, it is important to start from down from, uh, and work upwards for those who have long hair. If you have a tendency to comb from the top of the scalp and uh, towards the bottom of the hair, you can cause something called traction alopecia which is due to chronic pulling of the hair roots. So, that should be avoided. And um, lastly, um, you should avoid excess of heat, excess of uh, chlorine. So, when swimming, wear a swimming cap. Uh, avoid too much hair coloring which can cause hair damage to your hair shafts. And um, these are the important things for taking care of your hair. Uh, the most important thing that I would like to convey in this video is that if you have hair fall, just applying a shampoo and uh, or a hair oil is not going to do the job because the proper cause of the hair fall has to be evaluated and treated accordingly. Thank you.